people who are blind and have other vision problems who live in Columbia have access to several resources through the Federation Center of the Blind. The center is located on South Kilbourne Road and our News 19's Rachel Rip shares what they have to offer. This center near the Rosewood neighborhood of Columbia offers so much to our blind population in Columbia. Not only do they have monthly meetings, they offer retreats, computer and phone classes, braille classes, conventions, and a brand new program called Transitions that helps younger folks move from high school to college or college to adult life. Even though I had the diagnosis of glaucoma and I wore the thicker glasses like I do now, um, I did not need a lot of adaptation. Uh, by the time I got to middle school, I needed large print. Um, as I got into high school, I used a magnifier to read print. When I was in college and graduate school, I used a magnifier to write. Shannon is a member of the South Carolina Federation of the Blind chapter here in Columbia, and now she uses Braille and a voiceover system on her phone. David Houck is the executive director of the center. He says they've been making improvements to the facility with a new entrance ramp installed in January and more changes to come. We want to get blind people involved in all aspects of life and in everything they do. We want them to maximize their potential. We want high expectations. Nobody ever told me I couldn't travel, so I traveled. Isaiah Nelson is very involved nationally, regionally, and in changing laws for people who are blind. He's cooking food for the chapter meeting tonight. Well, I spoke at a chapter meeting one night, and one of my thing was is to step up and to step out. Even though we, may, we are blind or partially blind, that doesn't mean that we have to wait for someone to come get us by the hand and to walk us to where we want to go. Reporting in Columbia, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. The Federation of the Blind is meeting tonight at 615 on 119 South Kilbourne Road.